Hey everyone, this is our uh, product marketing sprint iteration release video for uh, October 20th. Um, I'm going to hand it off to Tina. We can share what we did this past two weeks. Thanks. I'm not on mute. I'm sharing my screen. Um, so I, um, at the top of the iteration, I completed the last of the three landing pages for the security and compliance like lightning strikes that we've been working on. So here's the software compliance with GitLab page. It's using the same template with just some minor content changes. I think this one may or may not have a video coming our way, but um, yeah, just another um, solutions page. Um, and another priority for this iteration was um, a child page to our DevOps maturity comparison chart page. So we're starting off with uh, GitLab versus digital AI in the managed stage. Um, so this is the layout for that. Um, get to the bottom. So this there's this table here and you can toggle um, between the different groups. Um, and that's it. I'm working on the mobile version of that uh, while I wait for feedback. Uh, next, I'll hand it over to uh, Mateo. Great. Thanks, Tina. Um, let me share my screen. OK. Uh, so for this iteration, I worked on a bunch of small component updates um, for solutions. That was a pricing block, the header, and also the site nav for small styling and spacing updates. Uh, then also updated uh, content in a couple of CDAs. Also for this is the competition page, which was at the beginning of the week. Uh, this is it. It's a comparison table that will be reworked uh, next iteration. Um, there's a bunch of issues that were related to this. I also worked on the SEO for the solutions pages um, in a couple of improvements, and also the software supply chain security page. It is this one. It is also using uh, some of the updates that Margaret created for her the, the page that she worked on this iteration as well. And that's it. That's it for me. I'll pass it over to Margaret. Yep. Uh, so for the situation, as Mateo mentioned, I worked on the uh, DevSecOps page. I'm going to actually try and share my screen. You guys can see it. So this is the compliance page. Also, Tina shared this, uh, but this is the um, review app for that page. So you can see that actually um, in the page. I also worked in um, the DevSecOps page, which as Mateo mentioned, um, has some of the components that we use for uh, the, this line of strike pages uh, and the video component that Tina also mentioned. <clears throat> so it was just a bit of a refresh and some components that we already had. Mm. And I also worked on the side nav integration for topics pages. Uh, um, yet to create an MR for this. So this is just my local here showing how the side nav works. Um, and for the situation, I also had um, the release uh, template uh, issue, but that's uh, still like a placeholder issue waiting for feedback. Uh, but I think that was it for my iteration. I'm not sure who's next. I'm just going to pass it to Javi. Thank you. Uh, this iteration, I worked on a uh, lightning strike page. Uh, this is a review app, uh, working with Vince and Tina to get this all sorted. Uh, one of the big things that we're still trying to get the last thing situated with is the icons uh, for this page. Uh, a lot of the components on this page are essentially like events template from uh, the KubeCon page, uh, just like reskinned or a variant of something that already existed. So we're trying to reuse all of those components. That was the big thing I worked on. I'm trying to think who's next. Nathan? Thanks. 
Uh, I've been all over the place the last iteration. I honestly can't even remember everything. Um, but there was some bugs uh, on Learn page that I got through. And then I changed the way that we render the font on uh, Fire Experience. So instead of using the CDN, now we use the, the node module. Uh, so there's like a, anyway, there's a node module that we can use. And so it'll let us to pre-render fonts now so that we don't have to wait. I think it was delaying the page a little bit like 700 milliseconds or something. Um, thanks, uh, thanks, Justin, for finding that. Um, and then some stuff to the 404 checker. Uh, we changed it to not fail, or it fails, but it doesn't block you. Uh, so it just gives a warning, which I actually learned something is that we have a bunch of links in some of those synced files. And so a couple of those are getting outdated or broken. So it's good that it's not blocking because then we have to go into the dub 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 repo, update the features files with the proper links. Anyway, it would have been a huge mess. So we'll still have to do it, but at least it's not blocking us from working. Um, and on the side, I've been starting up the versus pages that, um, or I guess comparison pages that Tina mentioned earlier. And then right now I'm trying to compress and shrink the blog images, but there's like two, 3,000 images. So it's an ordeal. That folder alone is like a gig. And anyway, it's not fun, but I'm learning about image compression. So there's uh, something positive out of all this. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for me. Uh, yeah, I'll have a I guess I hand it back off to Justin or something, or Philza. Yep. Yep. I think that was it. Uh, thanks, everyone. Great uh, iteration.